Hi, Trevor Tendai here and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the knowledge and the secrets that I've gained over the years that helped me to transform my body during lockdown where I lost two and a half stone in a matter of weeks. Stay tuned to find out exactly how I did it. The reason why I started this channel was to document and recount my experiences with fitness, health and nutrition. I was born in the 1980s, so I'm an 80s baby and I was born in Zimbabwe. So during school term, I would spend most of my time in a city or a boarding school and then the holidays would be spent on a farm with my grandfather and my grandmother. And this is where my learning begins. This is where my real education began. Some of my very, very first influences were my grandfather on my father's side, my grandmother on my mother's side, my mother, my cousins and my uncles. My first exposure to herbs was in the countryside through my grandfather and my cousins and some of my uncles actually. And what I learned was I could use herbs internally, externally. These herbs include burdock, alfalfa, African wormwood, calendula, um, mango leaf. licorice root to brush my teeth, wormwood to ease diarrhea, headaches, nosebleeds. So my first introduction to intermittent fasting was on a farm. We would wake up before sun sunrise and would get ready, go on a farm, work the land, and then about midday when the sun was at almost at its hottest, we'd then come back in and that's when we'd have our first meal of the day and we'll eat between midday and about six or seven o'clock in the evening just before sunset and all our eating was condensed between those periods. It was also during this period that I learned about hydration, what water to drink, what water not to drink, how to find water on a dry riverbed, all those little tricks that I learned um, that I might not be able to use in this country, but if I ever was to be lost in the bush somewhere in the world, I'll be able to find water. We also had an orchard on a farm, so we had everything from papaya, mangoes, oranges, lemons, apples, strawberries, blueberries, blackberries, raspberries, guava, you name it, we had everything on there. So mango leaf, I was introduced to mango leaf from a very, very young age. So I knew about mango leaf, moringa, all of that, all because I was taught from a very, very young age from my grandfather, my cousins, and my uncles. And his knowledge is something that I wanna impart on you guys as well. So you are aware of the herbs and what you can use them for. So for the first 15 years of my life, everything that I ate was organic. At the age of 18, I got into weight training. I then started working at Atten Swimming Bars where I trained as a personal trainer. During all of this, I was still playing rugby part-time as well. And I only stopped playing rugby at the age of 35 when I finally retired from the beautiful game. 2009 was a real turning point for me. I became aware of the likes of David Wolf, Aris Latham, Dr. Sabi, and it really changed my, 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 my outlook on how I ate and the effect that it had on my body. This book was the beginning of everything. I started taking a massive, massive interest in processed foods, organic, um, non-organic, GMO foods, and the effects that they were having on my system. 2013 was a real turning point. Despite having seen Food Matters and knowing about Dr. Savi, Iris Latham, I wasn't really ready to start fully taking on and changing my lifestyle. It was only in 2013 when I started training more and exercising more and taking a real interest in my health and the food that I ate that I started slowly changing the way I ate, transitioning to the whole eating raw, eating alkaline foods, eating superfoods, and really taking an interest in the type of food that I was eating. I was still eating meat at this point. Still had that Western diet understanding of you need protein. 2016 was the time that I actually started listening to Dr. Sebi and decided to make a change in how I ate. I was like, no more meat, no more dairy products, no more animal products, just purely plant-based. So I stopped eating meat and I've had like four invitations to go to barbecues this weekend. I said no to all four. I just got a fifth one. I got a fucking go, fuck it. Eat a kebab.
didn't last. I went on holiday and sometimes you have to research where you're going and you need to make sure that you have everything that you need. In 2018, I moved home and I moved in with my family and they did not eat how I ate. So I started eating meat again, chicken again. I started eating dairy products again stuff that I had actually completely erased, eradicated from my diet. I started ingesting those things like pastas, white rice, potatoes, which I didn't eat, sweet potato, which, which I didn't eat. My recent trip to Jamaica was the turning point in 2020. It made me look at how I ate and my thinking process and how I'd literally thrown away everything that I'd learned um, from a very, very young age and over the years and the knowledge and the experiences that I've gained. And it made me reevaluate my nutritional choices. I recently became aware of Arnold Eric and his mucusless diet, this book here, and also his rational fasting, this book right here. Um, I will be sharing all the links to all these books in the description. Not long after my return, we went into lockdown and this was the opportunity for me to change everything. And this is where this story begins. Parsley tea, very good for detoxing the liver and the kidneys. You have to chop it like so to be able to release all the goodness out of your parsley and then you have to bring it to the boil simmer it for 15 minutes and then leave it to cool put it in the fridge and then drink a cup every day uh, you know i'm recording right this team is not even playing Leicester v Bournemouth. I am. Ray Ray says hi everyone. Makore, Lauren. Um, I'm not even in the shop myself, it's just a pot unfortunately. You can come stand next to me. They're not going to be able to see your face because it's just aiming inside a pot. Come and have a look. up in the video, dancing. <laughs> Yo T, where's that from? To all you rappers and, and, and artists out there that want to come to a record label where you, the executive producer is not all up in the video, <laughs> dancing, singing, come to death row. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, baby, look how much water I'm putting in there. Yeah, baby, that there is a litre. A litre of water. A litre of water, man. Cover it and bring it to the boil and then let it simmer for 15 minutes. Yeah, baby, yeah. decided to get back into cycling again and by doing that it sparked my nutritional change and shift in the direction that I was going with everything. I started using uh, parsley tea, burdock root, sarsaparilla, elderberry and wormwood and I was, I was rotating these, these herbs um, doing let's say wormwood. I'll take it for seven days and then I wouldn't take it for three months. But in between, I'll be using things like parsley tea, uh, burdock and sarsaparilla together, elderberry, and I'll be taking a tablespoon of elderberry every morning um, with my juices. I started taking CMOS again. I also went alkaline vegan at this time. And the reason being, I really felt that it was the right time for me to do this. Um, with, with everything that was going on in the world, I decided that I needed to cut out all the animal products and make sure that I'm eating clean. I stopped drinking alcohol. As I stated earlier, the beginning of lockdown was a starting point of my journey of rediscovery, resurrecting stuff that I'd already learned and just bringing them back to the foreground and making sure that I implement them in my daily life, my lifestyle 
and this is where the name came from lifestyle choices because it is a choice we're making choices on a daily basis if you enjoyed this video please press the like button leave comments below and please 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 share this video across all your networks if you're new to my channel please press the subscribe button and don't forget to press the bell to get notifications every time i post a new video thank you very much and i'll see you very soon ciao